What's up guys, Damien Keys here. Welcome back to the channel. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but there is a huge economic problem outside and the music industry has been brought to its knees. And I don't wanna make this too negative because I have other videos on that. I don't wanna make it too miserable or too depressing. But as we are aware, touring has gone, gigs have gone, festivals have gone. But because of that and the lockdown, even things like rehearsal rooms or studios, even those have become harder. When it comes to releasing music, it's all become a little bit too a little bit too bedroomy for my liking and I can't wait for the time where we can actually go and do interesting things and go and do the adventures that we all want to do as part of being creatives and musicians. And right now, because of that economic crisis, a nine to five job is something that most people need to hang on to. But it does mean less time when it comes to your, your music, releasing your music and getting the most out of it. So today, we are going to look at the eight best things that I can think of to help you when it comes to releasing music around having that nine to five. When you have got less time and you do need to prioritize more, how can you get the most out of your music with the least amount of time that you have got spare? So come with me on a journey and let's get started. Number one, and I'm going in for the big one first, so if you don't watch any more of this video, I will hate you and I will hunt you down, but this is the most important piece of information I can possibly get out of everything on my entire music channel. This is fundamentally what I think is the most important part, and that is the calendar. The calendar needs to rule your life. And I'm dealing with musicians every day, all day, every single day. And I'm constantly saying, please get yourself a, a calendar because I'm so bored of musicians saying mid-February, then I'll do another release maybe in March or maybe in April. And I'm like, no, this is what we need. A calendar which has the exact dates. You're going to release on a Friday, probably. We'll come to that in a bit. But if we are, which Friday? And if it's going to be six weeks later, I want it in the diary. I want everything in the diary because once we've got the big pillars in the diary, then we go back. What else are we going to need to promote it? Are we going to need a photo shoot? Are we going to need a video shoot? Are we going to do some kind of launch party? What social media... Uh, ideas are we going to do? What content's going to go in there? Where does that go? It goes in the diary. So we can see where we're going and we're working backwards and filling in the diary so there's plenty of things coming in. This, to me, is the most important aspect of releasing music outside of having music to release. Number two, prioritizing time for creation instead of time for distribution. Now, what I mean by this is most musicians and most artists, when it comes to co social media content creation, is they go, oh, I've got to post something because I haven't posted something today. And then they go, oh, what should I do? What should I do? I guess I'll do a selfie. Or the other thing is they go, oh, when I've got something, I'll post it. And days and days go by without any social media. And if you want a growth hack, everyone wants to growth hack. Everyone wants to build their audience. You need content. You need lots of it. Because you need to take that content and tag yourself in it and hashtag and all those other things so people can see it, people can share it, people can find you. But without that, you're not going to grow that. So therefore, instead of thinking, oh, I need to post at five o'clock, we're going to say no. We're going to allocate time for social media creation. So instead of saying Tuesday at five, I post, we're going to say no. Tuesday from nine until 11 is when I create. That way, distribution's easy. If you've got five things that you wanna post, it doesn't matter when you post them. Do one today, one tomorrow, one the next day. That isn't the issue. The issue is when you're going into the time when you're supposed to be posting and you've got nothing, and that's when you start coming up with something which is usually rubbish. So let's think about content creation time instead of content distribution time. Number three, as we're going into prioritizing your time, you need to embrace Facebook ads, but you don't need to spend a lot of money. And I am a big fan of drip feeding your brand awareness, your brand and your content. So instead of taking a big batch of money and, and shoving it in to try and get people across to Spotify, I think what you should be doing is creating very good content, including the songs, including the music video, including the performances, and you should be drip feeding that to a hyper-targeted audience. That to me is important. A couple of dollars, a couple of quid, a couple of euros here and there will build that brand. So for example, Facebook might be, not be a great place to organically grow, but it's a fantastic place to chuck a fiver into it to get in front of a couple of thousand people that will appreciate the value of your content. 
if you are not doing that on a regular basis, but you are doing things like going to Starbucks and getting a coffee on your way to work, then you are losing out. So you need to sacrifice some of those coffees and take some of that coffee money and make it work for you whilst you are working, whilst you are in the nine to five. I'm assuming that even though you're in the nine to five and you have got outgoings, that gives you a tiny amount of disposable income, even if that is two or three dollars a day. It is enough to start drip feeding that brand to people that will find you and come into your party. Number four, you need to create the space for you to be able to create social media. This will make things as quick and easy as possible. For example, this set doesn't change. You come back to any of my videos, I'll probably be here, I'll probably be sat at the desk. This is where I work, but also, it's the set that I can make videos from. So this stuff doesn't change, the guitars don't change, although the Rickenbacker, as, as you can see, I have changed from the, the jazz bass, looking pretty, pretty cool, um, but it doesn't change. I have a massive light, which you can't see, which looks like the sun here. It sits there all of the time. I have two cameras here and two tripods, which do not move unless they are coming with me to film something else, which means I never have to think about the setup. I can sit, press record and I can talk. Now for you guys, that might be a performance, it might be a vlog, it might be an interview, it might be something else. But if you're thinking on top of everything else, where am I going to film? You have another problem and another priority and another reason to not do social media. So find a space, set it up, make it look good, light it well and take that problem away. Number five, think carefully about your release day. I constantly talk about releasing music on a Friday. But if you work full time, that might not be the best day. After all, you can choose when you want to release music. And sure, getting in on Friday might mean that you can get it into a playlist. But what's the point? If you're gonna release music on a Friday and you are at work from nine to five and you've got commutes in the morning and the commute in the evening and then you've gotta get back and do family stuff, it might be better to push that release to a Saturday or a Sunday so you have got a good eight to 10 hours that you can start to talk to people and promote it and market it, get in conversations, do performances, make sure that you're in the room. And yes, it might not be the standard Friday, but it might give you more time to spike that that algorithm in Spotify and that might in turn push it into some playlists. Number six, batching content. So, so important. I want you to make five pieces of content rather than thinking about making one piece of content. For example, just before I made this video, I made a different video and you'll never know because I changed my shirt. <laughs> but it means I can batch videos. I can do two videos and that way tomorrow I don't have to think about my next video. I'm not gonna batch 25, I'm just gonna batch a couple so that I can get in the zone, I can do the recording and then all of that's done and I've got tomorrow away from thinking about YouTube videos. So batching content is important, whether it's for your Instagram, whether it's for your YouTube, whether it's for any social media platform, your job is to get in the zone of creating so, uh, social media content that's gonna be bring value to your audience. But why do it once? Why not concentrate on trying to make three or four or five things? Try and concentrate on the week's worth of socials at one time so you have the week away from that kind of creativity and you can concentrate on other things. Number seven, you don't have that much time so you need help with pushing your music. And that is where things like Submit Hub or Playlist Push or Spotify come in quite handy. And yes, they're not quite right for everybody but what they do mean is you can push your music for some kind of playlist consideration get some feedback on the music for a couple of bucks here and there in order to try and get your music onto playlists because whilst playlists aren't the be-all and end-all this could be a quick easy win for you. And number eight and finally this is not about the next release you have especially when you're in the nine to five. This is about two years time. This is about return of investment. This is about what's gonna happen on your 10th release or your 15th release or your 20th release. This isn't about pinning your hopes to one single and hoping for the best. This is about consistent marketing. This is about consistently bringing value with your music, with your performances, with your talent to an audience. So we need to be thinking about momentum over a period of time. I want this to be the fight, the 12 round fight. And if you think you're gonna go into that 12 round fight with one punch, if you miss, you're out. Whereas if you're thinking, no, no, I'm gonna throw two to 300 punches in every single round. 
which means I'm gonna do that 12 rounds, and I'm gonna throw two to 300 punches every single round, and every round is a single and every piece of content is a quick jab or another swing. That is how we build a music career. And when you're in the nine to five, you don't have as much time. So whilst we don't have as much time to put in the big swing, we can still work on the jabs. We can still work on making sure that we are busy. And that's what we need to be doing. Thinking about the next single and the next one and the next one and the next one and two years ahead and how we can build this audience using value so eventually there is that return of investment. So guys, it's a crazy, crazy time at the moment with all of the lockdowns and nine to fives are something that I wouldn't suggest leaving when you need that money, but it doesn't give you an excuse not to promote your music well. It just means you've got to think harder, you've got to prioritize better, you've got to come up with a solid strategy. And that is what I'm here for. So if you can do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, more importantly, you know the deal. Come and be a part of this community because I'm so proud of what we're building. And if you do want to work closer with me, then don't forget there's DK Music Business Academy, which is where I spend most of my time talking one-to-ones with people in the group, making content, doing live sessions. That's the place where we can work together. So if you're interested, then hit that link down below and I will see you in there. If not, I will see you on YouTube tomorrow.